ready to start the city council meeting tonight. Before we start, we're going to have the pledge, and we're going to have an invitation. And the invitation will be given by Mel Gibson from the First Baptist Church tonight. We're pleased that you're here. Whether or not you want to participate in the invocation doesn't make any difference on the reason that you came here to uh, see the council tonight. And the invocation is given for the benefit of the council. We invite anybody that would like to come and do that invocation to call my office and we'll be glad to sign you up. And uh, we uh, take all denominations and it doesn't make any difference. So with that, I'll ask everybody to stand. We'll have the pledge given by uh, Councilwoman Hansi. <clears throat> I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. You'll remain standing. <clears throat> so now we have a uh, uh, look. My lady works for us, Diana. Right, and her sister passed away yesterday morning. The memorial service is on Thursday, and I'd like you to remember her. Uh, is there anybody that I missed? Everybody else is in pretty good shape tonight. Thank you. Let's pray. Heavenly Father, we acknowledge that you are the God of this city. We want to thank you for blessing us with a 200 year history. We are so grateful for our past and we anticipate an even brighter future. I thank you for these council members and their willingness to serve. I pray that you would grant them your wisdom, a unity of purpose and spirit, and uncommon courage as they make decisions for our community. Tonight our hearts go out to the family of Diana Wright. Lord, I pray that they will know you as a God of mercy and comfort during this difficult time. And we pray all of this in Jesus' name. Amen. 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 Thank you. First thing on our agenda will be to uh, pick up your cell phone and be sure that it's on vibrate or turn it off. Secondly, we'll have roll call. Councilwoman Rish. Present. Councilman Weber. Present. Councilman Schommel. Present. Councilman Nobby. Here. Councilman Montgomery. Present. Councilman Creech. Present. Councilwoman Stevens. Here. Let the record show that all seven council members are here tonight. We have a quorum and we can do business. The reading of the minutes of the last council meeting, that will be August the 19th, 2013. Your Honor, make a motion we pass the minutes as presented. Second. A motion on the floor to uh, pass the minutes as they were sent out to the council paper. Are there any additions or corrections? None appearing. All in favor say aye. Aye. Any opposed? Motion carried. The minutes stand approved. Thank you. Um, welcome to all of you folks tonight. We appreciate it. We're going to run through this pretty expeditiously, I think. First, we're going to have Holly down. Holly, here. I don't know how you got to the top of the list, but you're right up there. All right. <laughs> Still makes me nervous to come up here. Oh, it shouldn't uh, make you nervous. We're friendly. Yeah, you are. Um, I was here before. I think you all know who I am and what I what I do. Um, I represent the Haven, and uh, we are a youth-focused ministry um, slash young adult program, just in general. That uh, has been around now for coming up on four years, and uh, this month we are making a huge transition because we are moving into our own building. For real this time. <laughs> uh, last time we had some unexpected things that we thought we were all in the clear, but this time um, Troy has been with me and helped me with this, and we will be in there and begin in October. And uh, one of the very first things that is going to start, and I'm really kind of excited about it, and I actually brought some of these, I'll let you guys have them, is uh, all we're moving towards having a mentoring program right after school, partnership with the school. Um, they'll get dropped off from the high school and uh, we'll work in partnership with the uh, Fayette County Transportation to get them home. I don't know if I have enough for everyone, but you can share. share. <laughs> uh, but essentially that's going to start right away and then uh, we will also have some uh, drug classes for teens that's going to be lined up and then we'll continue to have fuel and we'll grow more programming as it allows. Lots of great 
things that are in the works. But to start off in October, that's um, we'll be using the building five days of seven. What and building? I'm sorry, I didn't do it. No, no problem. Um, the it was the old chicken coop. It's 111 West Seventh Street. It's a lot smaller. Um, but we're gonna make it work. It's about 2,200 square feet, and um, we are. It'll enable us to get going. Maybe even for the next. We're hoping for a couple years. Um, any questions about that? Right down here by the pawn shop. Right oh, by okay. right right. family right. right. video. Okay, all right. Um, it's right downtown, mm -hmm. and uh, just have already got some great partnerships going. Got church, church several churches that are sponsoring our monthly expenses and. We are moving forward, literally, our stuff's in there, so, um, and I'm here tonight because our first, like, I mean, it's kind of was on our last list, our first need is a place for people to sit down, and uh, so I, I've kind of gone through a couple different, like, school pricing sheets and different websites online, and um, we're hoping to get, I want it to be a fun place, I want it to be a place that kids are excited about coming to and bringing their friends, so... I want it to look nice, but at the same time, um, be affordable. So, and we need, because the space, the space is smaller, we need something stackable and something that we can kind of shuffle what we're doing really quick. Uh, the first thing I have is chairs for 100 kids, because that's about what we run. And uh, that is, is, is $200, and, and like, I mean $2,000, and like before, I come with options, so if... You, if you don't like what I offer, there's other there's, options. There's yeah, I'll pass that on. Um, <clears throat> they're real contemporary looking, but they're they were the the least expensive also, so it works out double sided. <laughs> the the thing that I need the most, and it kind of it makes me even nervous to mention it because I know that they're pricey, and that is cafeteria style tables. Our space, if you if you've been in there, the walls are gone now. Um, it's not real, it's super long, but it's not super wide. And so I need tables that go up and down really quick so we can open them up and close them, put them away, and roll out a ping pong table. <laughs> and, and for um, just the fire side of things, I'm not allowed to have anything like fixed or permanent. So it can't be booths or <coughs> anything that's heavy. Um, we just need to be able to kind of tuck them away. So I have cafeteria tables. Um, we have space for six, five will work, and they're kind of pricey. And I'm just going to tell you that I, I've, I've done a lot of shopping, trying to find Craigslist, anywhere that I could find them. They were already, like, something that we could buy used, not had any luck, and we're kind of getting down to where we're moving in a month. <laughs> and so I need tables. Um, five of them, with shipping, would run around $6,000. Which makes my heart pitter patter. But Why are they so expensive? I think because they're convenient. <laughs> yeah, I mean, we need um, no, bench show a picture, huh? Um, oh, it didn't show a picture. I'm sorry. It's basically the they fold up in the middle, they open up, and they have bench seating. Kind of allows more oh, it's people. Kind of like they got in cafeteria. It's just like what they have in a cafeteria. <coughs> One person can flip the benches over and squish it up, and they push aside real quick. And that's kind of my, that's my, that's what I'm here to present. I don't know. Okay, a hundred chairs plus the tables. Yeah. What do the chairs be used for when the tables are folded? Um, well, there's kind of, it's a long space. And so on one end, we'll have it set up like with a stage and people that can speak at it. And there'll be people sitting at it. And then on the other side, um, we, we serve them a meal. And it'll be, the tables will be over there on that side. How many can you seat at five tables? At five tables, it's going to be 50, 60. Some of them will still have to be in other parts of the building. Um, we know it's going to be tighter. That's why as soon as they stand up, we can <coughs> swipe up a table and get it out of the way. Um, it's going to be, it'll be tight, but we can make it work. I mean, we, we know that we're going to, we needed a starter spot, and this is, this is where we're going to start. Mr. Mayor? Yes, sir. Uh, what if we've seen Mike Bottomley? He has stackable chairs and he has folding type tables. See, maybe Mike could help us out. Yeah. Is any up there Vistion plant? <coughs> I know that they have something heavier that's got some mold on in the chair form at the Vistion plant. Um, I don't know, they think they're too bulky. 
I think they'll take up too much space. We, uh, we have the white tables, the folded tables mm -hmm. at the Miller mm -hmm. at the uh, building, the 4-H building, the Roberts building. Mm -hmm. and, uh, we, we thought about, in fact, I even asked the uh, board works today to consider giving some of those to you, but you don't want those. Uh, we those, those are choosy. Those, those, <laughs> those chairs are stackable. It's hard for us to sit here in our in poor condition mm -hmm. and buy new tables and chairs for you when we know we need tables and chairs in our own building. Okay. I mean, it's, it's very difficult. At least right. it is for me. Uh, yeah. This council has the say so, though. Yeah. Um, Holly, uh, the, and I, not to, to but the mayor, the mayor but, but you know, we, we have an obligation with, with oh, the well, taxpayers and so you. forth. We have an obligation to our parks, and we would, we would like to help you. Uh, and having said that, like I say, uh, uh, I think Mike, uh, I borrowed them at the transfer station before. Those, uh, they were white fiberglass type tables, lightweight, mm -hmm. and he has the stackable chairs. But, and your, I, your heart's in the right place. It would be just difficult for me to vote, to spend a great deal of money mm -hmm. to do this. I, I mean, if we get something, Mike, I think he'd love to help you out. Okay. Mike, can you come up here a minute? Mm -hmm. um, well, wait, oh, while he's walking up, I was just looking on eBay and I found a couple of you find folding, something? rolling 12 foot cafeteria tables from schools for $375. Where did you find them? Right here. Because <laughs> <laughs> I'm glad that. Then you have to pay uh, shipping. Where are they at? The water, where in the they're car? in uh, Waterford, Michigan. And shipping, whatever that would cost. There's, they have two available, and there's another one that has five available for $400. Well, I'm How many can see at each one? Yeah. Twelve? How many seats are those? And these are folding, rolling. Mm -hmm. That's kind of what you're talking That's about. That's kind of what I'm talking And they fold up like this. Fold up like that. I'm glad to. Look at them and be glad to. That's you have to have I'm your not own eBay. No, <laughs> I mean, just, yeah, I just it's just on eBay. I looked up cafeteria tables and and some came up. So you might want to look it up. I'm glad to. Yeah, I've used the school like what the school has used in the past, and then I went on line. I guess I didn't go eBay though. Yeah, yeah. Mike, yeah. Uh, if we if one, one last question. She wants a oh, sorry. You go ahead. I just found eight for two hundred seventy-five dollars. Eight for two hundred. That's sold. and they are cafeteria tables, folding tables with bench seats. They were in a daycare in a restaurant. There, you want to look at them? This is exactly what I'm looking for. Unless they're like little kid levels. I mean, you can even call them and all that right. stuff. They're yeah. in a daycare. They're probably low the yeah. They have to be. It says look, daycare or yeah. restaurant. Maybe. Small people eat there. <laughs> no, but that's. But I mean, look it up. I'm yeah. open. I just it's just. Could, a, could we uh, give her a hundred of our chairs and order new chairs for the 4-H building? Yeah, we could do that. Are they stackable? Yes, it's those memory ones. Okay. They're pretty nice chairs. That would be nice for your stage area. And what about the, the tables? You got tables or no? Nothing. We don't yeah, have. But, we uh, don't <laughs> have those that break in half with the benches on. We no, got the white just, tables that fit the chairs. Well, and we would make anything work. I just, I feel like yeah, you need to know so that we will make sure anything work, will. but when you're looking for it, that's... What's the diameter of the tables, the round tables? At the 60 inches. How much? 60. Are they all round, or do we have any long ones? We have the long ones, too. They're six-footers or eight-footers. Hmm. Probably the long ones would suit your needs better. Yeah, longer will fit the stage. You'd have to bring the chairs back, eat, and then take the chairs back up and put up at the stage. Oh, that's fine. We talked about doing that, too, if we had to. I mean, like, to, like... In general, when we were trying to figure out what we needed to do. So well, I personally think we would be better suited for the taxpayer if we did that, mm -hmm. rather than. And and I did get the board of works to approve that today. If you wanted to do it, they they approved it. I I have a question. Have you talked to Troy Tipton yeah. on how many people can be in? Okay. Yeah. Okay. We're good this time. Yeah. <laughs> good. Ooh, well, good. Debbie, uh, uh, Nancy, do you have anything to say about this? You want? No, I just want to thank her for being involved with the kids. Well, thank you. We, we definitely want to help. Yeah, we you know, help I, I think we need to give her some money, though, to help purchase some tables. I mean, I, I really think this will be a transforming factor uh, in our in our city, and I think that's something we ought to think about. I mean, even if it's um, $2,000, maybe help offset the cost of for tables or something like that. I, I think I think that's something we need to, to do, uh, two or 3000 uh, so I'll just make a motion right now. I move to <clears throat> appropriate three thousand uh, dollars to Haven mm -hmm. um, for tables. Okay, you want to take that a river boat? Yeah. Okay. All right. 
Is there a second to that motion? Second. We got a motion and a second. Three thousand. Is that what you said? Mm -hmm. Okay. Do you then? Do you want to give her some chairs from up there? Do you, yes, sir. Okay, maybe we could find a hundred chairs. I'm, hundred I'm chairs. In, huh? Hundred chairs. Is that what you wanted? Is that? Yeah. Well, yeah. I mean, just. Yeah. Is that what you need? Fifty or a hundred? Oh, I need a hundred, but we'll move them. We'll have to move them, but it'll well, be okay. Well, he's talking about giving you some money to buy these tables off the internet, too. Oh, that would be fabulous. Yeah, so if we could do the chairs and the $2,000. The only thing is, we're going to have to get ours ordered and get them in. It should take the very long time. Are you going to use tables? Then we're going to have to appropriate money to buy chairs. They look less. They don't know how much they are. Wait just a minute. we got a motion, and do we have a second? Nancy second. Nancy second. Okay. So we have a motion on the floor. Okay, we need to deal with that motion. Go ahead. Uh, we have questions on the Sure, motion. questions. Um, Gabe, now I understand where your heart is. I, I, I understand that. But I would rather see us take the city's money and buy Mike, my city park, <coughs> the tables, and then give Holly the ones that are, that are, uh, that are nice. But you don't I have mean, the tables... That she's well, looking for, right? They don't have the so they don't, don't have that style. Well, well but I mean, and I, I understand, and the hobby said you could make it do, right? Yeah, we will. We will. Yeah. I, I really think for the space, and I mean, I'm going to pull Troy. It's a long, long place. I don't know that round tables will work. I think they'll have, have to, to find. Have, they have to be right. Eight footers, I know. Yeah. yeah. Do you have a place to store them? That, they're gonna have to stay out. After they're folded up, you can just lay them against the wall. They'll have to be against the wall. Yeah, I don't have a, I don't have great, I don't have storage there, but yeah. Well, we uh, we have a motion on the floor to put three thousand dollars into this to buy the kind of tables you want. What what would be more important, the chairs or the tables first? Probably chairs because we need to. We can set. At our chairs and yeah. eat. Well, I think we um, can take care of that in the next motion by giving her some of our chairs and just buy new chairs up there for our tables. Right. But See? we're still putting out money either way. Huh? We're still putting out money either way. We'll put out $3,000 is right. what right. his motion costs. Seems right. to me we ought to wait and see what our tables are and then appropriate that amount. I don't know. All right, if we do that, though, we're going to be when we wait behind. She needs them next month, right? I do, but. What about the, the cafeteria type tables that fold up to have bench seats? That's, that's, what, what, that's what I really want. That's what you that's had. What she wants, yeah. Yeah. That's what this is. And that's yeah. why I think that's, Gabe and made the motion for three thousand dollars. She can get them off eBay. Can, yeah. But she still needs a hundred chairs. Did, did you say that she, you could get them for off eBay? Didn't you say two seventy five a piece or something? Three ninety five for these I just found, but there are some other ones on there. Yes, uh, yeah. uh, you know, y'all mm -hmm. look. Okay. Well, we need to dispose of this motion. If you're ready for the question, are you ready? Been ready all my life. Anybody else want to discuss the question? I just don't think okay, the motion is that we appropriate from the revoke fund, which will take an additional appropriation, so it's going to have to lay over two weeks, for $3,000 for tables for the fuel. Uh, we'll have a roll call vote. Councilwoman Arish? No. I just, I would, I want more information on these tables <clears throat> first. You're just getting the money right now, right? Mm -hmm. if yeah. This is yeah. just the money. Just the money. Just the money. Yes. Uh, I agree with Connie. I, I I need some more facts and figures and some kind of a solid number to go on. So no. Councilman Nalby. Yes. Councilwoman Montgomery. No. Councilman Creech. No. Councilwoman Stevens. Yes. And may I request that Holly explain exactly what she does, what this group is all about. Mm -hmm. As soon as we get through this rule, we'll do that. Let's see. What's the rule? Four no's, three yeses. Four no's, three yeses. The next yes, motion fails. How, how old are your chairs, Mike, like we're talking about? Ten Some years. of them are as old as the Lewis that have been open. I mean, they got Nixon and, oh. and four or five years old, six. Okay. I just, just yeah. wondering. Now, I mean, let's, you know. Let's go, to the, let's go to the fact of the it's chair. Awesome. Let's go to the fact of the chairs now. Mike says he can give her 100 stackable chairs that she could use at her stage. And then we would order new chairs, and you must remember we'd have to appropriate money then to buy those new chairs because he's got to have those, and we couldn't take those down there until he's got to use them every week. Yeah, his command. Yeah. Um, is there anybody here that's in favor of taking a hundred of those chairs from the 4-H building and giving to her? Absolutely. Well, let, let me ask yes. you one thing before we, we move <laughs> forward. 
Are, are you are organized as a 501c3 corporation? <coughs> yes, we, we fall under Sharon Cranfield. Right. So, so you're, you you have your own number That's and all that sort of thing. Uh, and any contributions made are tax deductible. Yeah. I needed to Can the city that. give to her then? Yes, to the 501c3 exactly. corporate. All right, I'll take a motion if you want to pursue this cherish. Can I say Whoop. something? Yes, ma'am. <laughs> You're the boss. <laughs> if she could buy the tables that she wants on eBay for $400 a piece, mm -hmm. she gets five of them, that's $2,000. If we gave her $3,000, that's enough money for her to get 50 of the chairs that she wants. Mm -hmm. Plus the tables, and we don't without us having to pay for another three thousand dollars for chairs for the park. And we don't know what the cost is on those. Why don't you look up chairs, Gary? <laughs> I'll tell you what, I'll look Molly, why don't you do this for us? Okay. I hate to make you lose two weeks. I'm going to say, go get an exact price and come back here. Okay. Uh, but you can't do that. We'll lose no, two she weeks. Can't, she can't do it. And then if you're on yeah. eBay and you wait two weeks, it's gone. Yeah. yeah so yeah. that's why I thought the 3000 made a lot of sense. <clears throat> Could we make it a maximum of X number of dollars, but if she got the tables cheaper, we would go with less money? We, we can appropriate. Mm -hmm. Three thousand, and then when we get the exact, well, when we get next, the next meeting when we vote on it, when we actually bring the additional in, then you can reduce it if she doesn't need that much money. Yeah, I'm fine with. We could find it if if what what Dr. Weber found. I mean, I'm fine with that completely. We can't do three thousand dollars because we already voted down the motion. We'll have to change it. You can't consider the same motion in the same meeting. Three thousand or more. Mm -hmm. uh, but you can consider a different amount if you want to. <laughs> Don't all sit there and look at me. I have a question, I have a question John. So we can't give, Mike can't give her a hundred chairs and some tables to use? He can. Okay. He can, but if you give her $3,000, she has a very good potential of getting everything she needs without <coughs> having us have to reimburse the park with an unknown cost that we don't know. Mike, when the chairs so, so. cost at the park? Mike, what are you talking about? Thirty dollars a piece. Yeah, twenty-seven to thirty-two dollars. What chairs cost? Okay. I think they're like less than that. They're less than twenty. Yeah. Okay. You're gonna... okay. Can I give the council a suggestion? Why don't you ask for an additional appropriation of four thousand dollars? Let me appoint a committee of uh, Dr. Weber and work with uh, her and see if they can't get the table she wants and the chairs she wants and get it as reasonable as possible. So move. And we'll come back here. So move. We can't consider three, but we consider more. We can consider less. We got now, are we going to get? Are we going to get Mike new chairs? No, Mike's off the table. <laughs> Sorry, do you need <laughs> well, new chairs? We could always use tables and chairs. Yeah, but you don't really need it, them. Your Honor, this, my, my point is, and Holly's my neighbor. She knows. I mean, you know, this is not. Yeah, it's, it's not just that I, I have just had the issue with taking taxpayers' money. And, and we're doing this for a faith-based organization, mm -hmm. and our own parks department can use tables mm -hmm. and chairs. That's my, she's like, again, she's my neighbor. I mean, she knows it's not personal. Mm -hmm. I, I mean, she, what she's doing is wonderful. That's my I see issue. what you're saying, Tom. Are you going to come to us maybe next year, Mike, and ask for new chairs? You know. Oh, I'm sure we're going to need new chairs. Well, what I'd so like we might as well get <clears throat> Okay, you, I, I'll tell you what, let's, uh, let's, uh, let's get your motion didn't get a second, so we're, no, no. we're, at, we're at a dead end here. Mike, take Holly out in the hall. Let me go through some of this business. See what you can work out. Slap around some? Slap around some. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Holly, do that, Mike. you slap you him around. around the back. <laughs> Holly, do you think you'll need all those chairs and everything right at first? Um, no. I will say this. Um, our numbers fluctuate with the season. And football season draws a chunk of my, my normal people that are there on Friday nights. So it, as, the, as the school year goes, it usually climbs and it hits like 100 and hangs out. Um, we run about 60, 80 consistently. Okay. Right. So if I had enough to start with, that's... And then the other thing I feel like I, I need to just say is we are immediately going to work in partnership with the school and some other things. It's not all faith-based. Melissa, go get my computer. 
and take it in there to these two. Get on eBay, okay. see what you can find. Cafeteria okay? table is what I was under. Okay, she'll find them. She's good at it. Okay. And come back in here in a little bit. Let us get through some of this business we're taking. You guys are really wanting to go see a bowl game or something. She does an awesome job. Okay, we got another tough one coming up. I didn't realize until last week I got a nice little email from MDOT telling us that our ADA trans transition plan needed to be updated or furnished to them by the 1st of September. And I immediately called uh, Jason Hoff with Strand and uh, said, what happened here? Well, he'll explain to you where we are in this thing. It's, it's kind of a bad deal, but we're in a pinch because we're getting federal money on this Grand Avenue project and we stand to lose it if we don't have this transition plan in place. So Jason, take the floor. Sure thing. Um, just a little bit of background. I kind of relayed this to the Board of Works earlier today. Uh, ADA transition plan is a plan that a city has in place that identifies any type of access barriers within the city. Um, it then inventories those, assigns a cost to fixing the access barrier, and puts them on the implementation schedule. Um, this went into place for pretty much all municipalities that get federal aid projects, such as an INDOT project, um, back in, I think, initially in the 70s and then was updated in 1992. Um, uh, so this was required for anyone that wanted uh, federal aid projects. Um, recently, in August of 2012, INDOT asked all municipalities to provide an updated or complete um, a ADA plan if they didn't have one. Um, going back through the documentation, the uh, city contacted me about a week and a half ago, and we did some initial site visit to try to see what all the city had. This entails public-owned facilities such as buildings, as well as... Uh, what they call public right-of-way, sidewalks, curb ramps, intersections, anything that needs to be uh, uh, ADA accessible. Um, back in 92, it appears that the city did uh, start that process. They put a plan together um, in 1993, and um, it was a draft plan. The, the plans, uh, one of the tasks is you have to have different policies in place, identify an ADA coordinator, and then identify all of those deficiencies. Uh, this plan didn't get very far. It didn't have an ADA coordinator um, identified, and um, it had basically only assessed buildings, and there was six buildings that were assessed. Um, after my day-long site visit, um, we also looked at aerial imaging for the streets, the intersections you have. Um, the city has uh, t about 28 properties that have uh, access to public or public programming that need review for ADA, assess ADA accessibility. Um, additionally, based upon our survey, um, you will have over 60 miles of sidewalk that need to be surveyed and um, approximately 240 intersections. All of this needs to be assessed in the field. Um, for instance, each building to go through the ADA accessibility checklist for that building is approximately, it's actually over 80 pages to go through checklists for each building. Um, there's a similar checklist for each intersection, sidewalks. So um, at the request of the city, uh, we went through and developed what it would take for us to, to get working on this, develop a plan. There's public meetings that um, are incorporated into this, as well as the plan implementation schedule, and we'd work with the uh, assigned ADA coordinator to move forward. Um, there was a survey letter sent out uh, about a couple months ago, and what INDOT is asking now, it's a pre-award certification for your upcoming project. They ask you to fill out the survey, and one of the first things identified in that is, um, do you have the ADA plan? And um, we are in contact with uh, INDOT as recently as today, um, saying you've got about two days to get this survey in, which is just a questionnaire about the city and where they're at. You need to make sure that is submitted in the next couple days, which we have agreed to assist the city with getting that submitted, getting the questions answered. Um, but failure to do this and potentially have the plan in place may impact the the funding of your pro upcoming project. It's a $2.5 million federal grant project. We can't afford to lose it. So we're, we're, we're pushing real hard. The problem is to do this survey, you're looking at about $92,000. Julie got back today and I went into her office this morning. I waited a little bit till she was 
had her coffee and I, I told her what we were up against and she said, where are we going to get that money? Actually, he walked in and I said, is this a typo? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So I've talked with Jason and Jason's willing to do this in increments. Get our plan moving over the next year, pay him or his company, Strand, in increments until we get this thing paid for, get it into NDOT, and then over the next years this plan will be implemented. We don't know how fast it will be required. Uh, it can't be too fast because all cities are in the same trouble. But we've got to have the plan. And in two days, we've got to have the sheet. We've got to have an ADA coordinator. I have a volunteer, Ronnie Coldiron on the Board of Works, said he would be the uh, ADA coordinator. He's interested in that. We can't expect him to do it for free because it's a big job. You'll have to appropriate some money for him to do it. But uh, we have to have one. Connersville City has to have one in place. Unless one of, well, you can't be. None of you can be. It's against the law for you guys to do it. But a Board of Works member can do it or another employee, a fireman, uh, you know, somebody that's into safety. But we got to do it. Mr. Mayor. Yeah. Uh, Jason, who is Strand and Associates? We're a civil engineering firm. We're engineering firm. Yes, yes. We've done business with them. They did the Milton project for us. They just recently uh, engineered all the blowers and motors down at the the raw raw uh, uh, pumping and motor controls for the wastewater plant. Okay. Um, that They've was done the, this for yeah. other cities, and they know what they're doing. Well, when I talked to you Friday, I think it was for a couple minutes, the mayor ran this by me about the state of kind of holding us hostage, so to speak. Now, the 92 or 93, that's for engineering firms? Correct. That's for us to do all the field work, evaluate every one of your buildings, all of your sidewalks, all of your intersections, and develop the actual plan that identifies all the deficiencies, okay. prioritizes them, um, assigns a cost to them, and then we work with the city to show that here's an implementation schedule in your plan that says these are our deficiencies and this is the timeline we're going to okay. uh, accomplish this. In. And then, Mr. Mayor, you said, you said something about Ron Coldiron. Ron we, said, well, we took this board of works because they had to adopt it and then send it on to you for funding, which okay. they did. He would be willing to be the ADA coordinator. We okay. have to come up with a salary ordinance for him because okay. he'll have to work for the next, what, 18 months? However long you guys um, decide you want to do as far as completing it. We feel that if, um, if, if, if it's schedule driven based upon INDOT, um, we can get it done in December. Um, we've got several weeks of field work. Um, we can get going as early as late this week and get field staff out here to start doing the measurements. Um, there's a series of public hearings, different steps and you know, checkpoints along the way. Um, we can we can spread this out based upon your allocation, your schedule. Well, then um, we'll let us spread this out over here once we in the process, right? I, you know, that's one thing I don't have confirmation on. I think the first step is you get an agreement saying we are working on it, and you tell them that we have an engineer on on uh, on staff, and they're developing, they're updating the current plan. Um, <coughs> from there, we can work within your schedule. So, Mr. Talk. Mayor, yeah. basically, we really don't have a choice. Basically, Julie. We're going to get the money. I wish I knew. Brand? We don't have it. We'll have to take it out of the general fund, but <laughs> so go ahead. I really don't want to do that. But. John, is there any way we'd be allowed to use the money in that fund that we have? For the uh, No way. I'm not sure what fund. Down Smalley Lake. <laughs> That's not much to do with environmental. Uh, I don't think no, that. No. <laughs> no. We, we can look into. Have we got any restricted funds any place that fit the bill? We've got money in QMCAT. A couple of QMCAT funds. How much money. we got in there? Yeah. See, they put this on you. Well, we, we have, have a choice, choice because we, we got 2.5 million pending right now. That's where we'll have to take it. Out. Could we do this? Could we pay you over a year's time? I think so. I, I think the question is, um, how do you still want it completed in the three months? Is that what you're looking at? How, what will you do for us? I need to go back and figure out what my company will let me do as far as <laughs> spreading it out. But I think we can work something out that works for that. You let me know what your monthly limitation is. Five bucks. <laughs> <laughs> and well, you'd have to talk to the state anyway to see how, how long they'll give us, right? 
Um, yeah, well, te you, I want to be careful how we approach that because it's supposed to be in place right now. I think the first thing is we'll get that survey sent in, say we're working on it, and then uh, find out what type of uh, timeline you're going to be restricted against. Some cities have got this done. A good many cities are just in the process. One city, and I don't want to mention any names tonight, got caught, and now they have an agreed order. They've been told what they're going to do. And we're working with that city, and... Um, they're under an agreed order with the Department of Justice, and we that makes things that even position. more complicated because now they're in charge of the plan, the schedule, right. and they're calling the shots, and they are kind of in a similar situation. And um, um, it is challenging. And the other challenging thing is this: this has come about, and um, there is no grant money available to do these these plans. So well, they have you because if we don't do, we don't get our money. And we, and, and we need them. Yeah. Yeah. And we're doing grants on a lot of federal projects. Yeah. Well, and sure. it jeopardizes so, future money. Mm -hmm. So, I, I do have a question. Sure. You talked about implementation plan. Mm -hmm. What's the what's the time frame that usually goes? I mean, this is 90000 but I'm thinking yeah. implementation is going to be far greater. Sure, sure. I think it all depends upon the size of the city. The um, we, You put a justification together. We'll sit down with the AD coordinator. Um, first, we've got to identify what are your, your access barriers and you know, assign them per area, per sidewalk, building, and come up with a, a cost for these. And then we'll sit down with you and you know, sometimes they're five years, sometimes they're 10 years or more. It, it's all variable, but we'll sit down and, and come up with a schedule that works for both entities, both the city and the, the agency that's requiring it. Let me it. tell you this, though. When we went through all the buildings, I spent a day with them. A lot of the buildings are already somewhat ADA compliant. <coughs> <laughs> and we, we did the Roberts building, the restrooms are ADA compliant, the uh, elevators ADA compliant. Uh, in this building, pretty much a lot of the bathrooms are ADA compliant. Uh, a lot of sidewalks aren't the, not the sidewalks. A lot of sidewalks will sidewalks need compliant. those curb ramps. Um, several the curb sidewalks, the new ones have curb ramps. There was a few newer facilities, some of your parks that needed some some upgrades. Just from our, you know, we did a basically a cursory walkthrough through all the buildings. Um, for instance, your soccer complex, um, you know, that's all new complex and everything. But w one of the things with ADA is you have to have a I forget how it's worded a slip resi resistant path from your parking lot to the concession or facility. And right now you have a gravel lot with grass to a concrete patio around your your concession so that see that would be something to be the implementation plan to get that access to where people would go to watch the, the they, soccer they facilities. They measure how hard it is to open a yep. door with a machine yep. and it's got to be so easy that you're, or you got to make it that way. It's mm -hmm. gotta, you got to adjust the door closer or change the door style, measure dimensions for uh, access um, in through doorways in uh, bathroom stalls. Um, we have levels where we check the slopes of sidewalks, intersections. Um, you know, a good half of this effort is going to be, you'll see our staff running around town uh, compiling all this, going through the huge amounts of checklists. They've done this in a handful of other communities. Um, they can really move through it. So, so you're on, basically, we really don't have a choice to, to protect that federal... Well, money. in the future, too, uh, future, future, yeah. future we, councils we, we are going to have to have this done or they can't get any federal yeah. money. So we're going Almost to all our grants come to federal. <clears throat> so first things first, we're going to have to take action on this. Yeah. I suggest you take it out of Kim Cap. We ask for an additional appropriation. We have to advertise it. Julie, um, is that the That's what I would I, I don't want to take it out of the general fund. Okay. You talk to your company. And what if we yeah. paid it in two, part this year and part next year? Okay. Talk to your company. Sure. I think I we need can some motion them. to uh, advertise for additional. Yeah, go ahead. Um, I know we have to do this, but what I don't understand is why we didn't know about it before. Probably my fault. Sorry, I didn't, I didn't try to place one. Well, yeah. if I knew it, I forgot it. And like I say, they didn't make a big issue to it until I got the email the other day wondering. It's just such a shock. What you know? I don't remember. Well, not, unless it's not in here. I don't remember it anything. Yeah, it to be you know, and you know, when you look at it, and we've seen this as similar in different communities, you know, when this all came out and the plans were put together in the early 90s, you know, it's as far as it got in a lot of times, and no one was reminding them of the responsibilities. If you didn't assign a coordinator, this got set up on a shelf. I didn't and even know we had that 92. Yeah, plan. Melissa found it when we were uh, talking about it. But it, yeah, it's one of those things that got set on a shelf, and it didn't get talked about for a long time. And communities oh, maybe, like yeah, it slipped through the cracks. But now that starting 2012, NDOT was sending out letters. 
Um, failure to have a transition plan may result in a deferral of your construction projects or impact funding availability. Um, it's now on everyone's radar that this needs to be a priority. <coughs> Almost all cities are in the same bind we're in. They haven't got it. There's a few cities got it done. You want a motion on? We'll have to have. Okay. That's all. Well, are we going to appropriate the whole amount for now? No, we'll appropriate half. And then after the first year, we'll appropriate the other half for this company yeah, resale. Sure. I, th I think I can safely say that. Yes. Yeah. Julie, you wanted that other community capital fund? Yeah. I would like to put that in the form of motion for 90. How much was it? Half of 92. You, you want half of it? 93. 93. I thought it was 92. That's 93. Oh, 93. <laughs> You're trying. You and I are going to have to have a man man talk. <laughs> <laughs> 91 sounds better. It's in black and white. I think you'll lose a lot better. 9 sounds a lot better. I and thought it was this 9300. I just thought. Maybe. Yeah. Yeah. Well, I got the same comment. I think a lot of people were uh, unaware of the level of effort it involves, and I can work with um, work with Julie about the, the actual accounting aspect of it. Okay. So, your motion is to add a yeah. public hearing for half of the 92 yes. this year, and we'll get started. And then, uh, okay. if you talk with them, Dot. I'd like to make this a little easier. Maybe we can sure squeeze some of it out. Can we get somebody to second that motion? Second. Yeah. Right. Did Jason second it or did he? <laughs> <laughs> we have a motion and a second on the floor to uh, ask for additional appropriation to have a public hearing on this uh, Hume Cap Fund for half of the $92,000 for the next meeting, which will be the 16th of September. <coughs> Are you ready for the question? Any discussion? All in favor say aye. 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 Any opposed? Motion carried. All right, we got that covered. You know. Thank, Thank you. All right. Thank you. Thank you. Listen, you. listen, Jason. We, we've got two days to get that thing in. I will. Sure. Uh, I've already got an email drafted, and I'm going to work with your staff on getting that in. Do, do you have to have my signature, Mr. Mayor? Is it your signature? I think it's actually an LPA signature. It's a dial in. So okay. it'll be. Well, I'll work through it, and I'll be in contact. With but don't bother Diana. You let me talk to her because she's going through this with her sister. No, I will not bother Diana. But I mean, I can I can get her to that. sign it and send it to you. Okay. Right. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Mayor. Yes, you sir. you had mentioned Ron Calder, which I think is great. Now, the council doesn't get involved. That is that you. Yeah, that's you don't have to. Uh, you don't have to make a salary well, ordinance for well, him. You and Julie have to get with him and get something yeah. worked well, out. We'll and then we, we don't even know what he's got to do. Okay. Yeah. But I, I think it's a great him as an ADA coordinator. Get, you guys get me something. I want that coordinator's got to do. How many hours he got to work and yep, everything? I'll so get I you can. like a description of what his responsibilities will be. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. All right, yeah, I see Holly Dunn come back in here. If you guys come to a conclusion, yeah, you come on up here. Uh, see, uh, I guess she suggested that um, she'll just take a two thousand dollar donation, and she'll worry about the tables later. <clears throat> she wants her chairs all matching, but the hard plastic—they're a lot more durable for the kids. Um, so my, my only other option was um, request her $2,000 and or $2,000 appropriate me $1,000 to buy eight, um, eight foot, 10 eight foot tables and I could replace my old eight foot tables and give her the old ones. She just wants the money to go home. Or, or just $2,000 and she can figure it out herself. Okay, counsel, you heard it. It just can't be $3,000 because you can't consider it the same motion in the same way. But it could, so you say, for the tables would be another thousand. So, I move to appropriate three thousand and one dollars for the Haven. Is that legal, John? Yep. Okay. I'll just start the same motion. Second. <laughs> no. We have a motion on the floor to appropriate three thousand and one dollars out of the riverboat fund to the fuel. Are we still calling it fuel? It, yeah. Well, fuel is one part of it. The Haven is the. The Haven. Mm -hmm. No, I'm confused. Are we appropriating? To give them two thousand and to buy tables. No, just two thousand and one dollar to her period. Just let me right? figure it out. Okay. No, no, no. Two thousand and a thousand well, to buy tables. What was it? Well, we talked about you know the common yeah. thing here in the past year was giving groups two thousand dollars. Come in and ask for money. They usually gave them two thousand dollars. That she would request that, and then she would take care of the chairs. Then I just kind of said, well, if that happens, then maybe I can get thousand dollars to replace some of our eight-foot tables. Okay, uh, so, so I give her your old eight-foot yeah. tables. All right, Mr. Mayor, I withdraw my motion. I got a new motion. <laughs> I moved to two thousand dollars for her, I think, and that's yes. what we're supposed to be doing for chairs. Okay, we mm -hmm. he wants to make a motion. 
I move to uh, appropriate two thousand dollars for chairs for the Haven. That's pretty much. Period. Period. I mean, that's all. I have a second motion and a second. Okay. Is there a second to that motion? Mike, Mike, and that's what you're happy with that, right? Yeah. I mean, second. She's not happy with those. I don't think she'll be happy with those chairs in the long run, mm -hmm. just because her kids and her phone, and they already got some rips already starting, and I think. Within six. Okay. All right. Kids, will, gotta, kids will tear them up. We got a motion on the floor. $2,000 yes. to the uh, yeah. payment. Any discussion? Yeah. And that's just four chairs. It's whatever she wants to buy. That's right. Whatever, whatever she wants to buy. It would be chairs. <laughs> We're donating it to her to do what yep, they would like. We're not going to tell her what to do with it, right? Gabe, that's your mm -hmm. motion. Okay. Any discussion? Okay. Roll call vote. Councilman Weber? Yes. Councilman Schommel? Yes. Councilman Nobby? Yes. Councilman Montgomery? Yes. Councilman Creech? Yes. Councilman Stevens? Yes. Councilman Rich? Yes. Okay, you pass that unanimously <coughs> and you get $2,000. Got another motion to advertise for the... Uh, we have to advertise to take that addition. out of Riverville. Okay, now I'm... I have another motion. Uh, I move to appropriate $1,000, is that correct, Mike? Yeah. For eight tables? Yeah. For the parks eight. and those eight tables that will be replaced, given to the Havens. And these tables are the round full. No, it's long. It's long it's fold up cafeteria yeah. tables for yeah. you. Yeah. The long eight foot tables. Is that going to be all right? We'll make it work. You'd rather do that than look at the cafeteria tables. It, we're going to have to go to Egypt to get the cafeteria tables. Uh oh, you don't want to go to Egypt. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, you just have to, they don't ship. They well, don't they actually them. do if you call them. Okay. Okay. I mean, yeah. Okay. Okay. Is there a second to that? I'll motion? Be Second. Got a motion and a second that uh, $1,000 then be used in the park to buy new tables and 10 tables be given to Holly Dunn from the park once those tables come in, which Mike will get in yeah. after we appropriate. Well, you can wait in order and we'll appropriate. How many tables are we buying? 10. Open 10. 10 yeah. for 1000 I think I can get them for that. Those are 8 foot 40 tables. Right. It's $100 a table? Yeah. What? I got connections. Good. We do. Okay, we got a second on it. Any discussion? Stolen property. Any discussion? <laughs> well, we don't know. Okay. Mm -hmm. We'll have a roll call. Well, we don't know. <laughs> Councilman Schommel? Yes. Councilman Nobby? Yes. Councilman Montgomery? Yes. Councilman Creech? Yes. Councilman Stevens? Yes. Councilman Rich? Yes. Councilman Weber? Yes. You have passed that unanimously. I think we got the tables and chairs taken care of, Holly Dunn. Thank you, guys. <laughs> Thank you. I really Thank appreciate you, all, of, all of you and what you do. Thank, Thank you. you. Okay. Thank you, Holly. You coordinate everything with Mike. He'll work it out for you. Okay, and I come back. You really don't need to be here on the 16th, but if you want to be, it'll be fine because there'll be a public hearing. If there'll be somebody out there object to it, it would be better if you were here in favor of it. Okay. I doubt whether it will be, but there might be. Yeah, you do. Okay. okay? Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> We're not making very good time. <laughs> Resolution 2013-44, uh, reimbursement. This will go quick. Those three can all go. Can we take them together? Yeah, yeah, we can take resolution. They're all reimbursements all the way down to, let's take C, D, and E. Resolution 2013, 44, 45, 46, inclusive. All receiving money back. I make that motion. <laughs> Got a motion and a second. We accept those resolutions. Uh, any discussion? No. All in favor say aye. Aye. Any opposed? Motion so that's carried. Pending ordinance, 3047 ordinance uh, would authorize issuance of pool bond. This is the thing I've been telling you about that we uh, are doing to refinance the pool. Uh, this was prepared by uh, uh, Martin Thornburg. This is just the first step in refinancing it. At this point, I can't tell you exactly what the savings is going to be, but they are going to, it's going to be a significant saving. So this is the first step in approving it. Rick Hall said he would have come down here tonight and explained to you. I said, no, we don't want to pay you. <laughs> you know, we got to do it, stay home, and we'll do it. And uh, you know what it costs to get a lawyer to drive down here? Yeah, a lot. Okay, so I'd like for you to pass pending ordinance 3047. And uh, we'll get this pool on refinance in the works. Anything you want to say about it, John? No, only the you know the title explains it. Yeah. Uh, yeah. It's a, it's an ordinance of the city of Commonsville 
authorizing the issuance of bonds for the purpose of providing funds to refinance its economic development income tax revenue bonds of 2004 and pay incidental expenses in connection therewith and on account of the issuance of the bonds. I think that's enough of a mm -hmm. reading title only. It gives you the gist of what it's all about. I want to be perfectly clear. This is an economic development bond and it's an economic development project. However, when we did this, I was on the council, Fran was on the council, whoever was on the council, I think that's it. We did this, we had to do a backup with property tax, just in case the edit fund didn't come up with it. So when someone tries to tell you this is not an edit project, that's wrong. It is an edit bond, that's what it's for, that's where we get the money to pay it. We're refinancing it to try to bring it down and save money, which that's what we should be. It's just no different than you refinancing your home. So, I'd like for you to consider pending ordinance 3047. Make the in. motion. Second. Got a motion on the floor. Is there any discussion? That's a good deal. Okay, none appearing. We'll have a roll call vote. Councilman Nobby? Yes. Councilwoman Montgomery? Yes. Councilman Creek? Yes. Councilwoman Stevens? Yes. Councilwoman Rich? Yes. Councilman Weber? Yes. Councilman Schommel? Yes. You have passed that unanimously. Would you like to suspend, suspend rules and move on and pass? Move. Second. Okay. On pending ordinance 3047 to refinance the pool under an economic development bond, uh, on suspension of rules only, all in favor say aye. Aye. Any opposed? Motion carried. You can move forward. So moved. Second. We have a motion on the floor to consider pending ordinance 3047 to refinance the pool under this authorized. Uh, Income tax, fat edit tax, pool bond. Uh, any discussion? Not appearing. We'll have a roll call vote. Councilwoman Montgomery? Yes. Councilman Creech? Yes. Councilwoman Stevens? Yes. Councilwoman Rich? Yes. Councilman Weber? Yes. Councilman Schulman? Yes. Councilman Nobby? Yes. Okay, you have passed it unanimously, so that will go back to Rick Hall and we'll be in the process. We got to December to get that done, so it's not a big issue, but this is the first step. Okay, pending orders 3048 and 3049, I think we could take both of those together. Uh, it's a transfer, and it's 475 from postage to minor equipment in the uh, cable TV, and then we have uh, 349.99 from pool chemicals to other equipment in the park. If it's okay with you, we'll take both of those together. So moved. Second. Okay. On pending ordinance 3048 and 3049, both transfers. Uh, <coughs> all in favor say aye. Uh, aye. Aye. Any opposed? Would you like to suspend the rules and move on? So moved. Second. We have a motion to suspend the rules and consider pending ordinance 3048 and 3049. Both ordinances transferring money within the budget. All in favor say aye. 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 Any opposed? Motion carried. Pending ordinance? 3050. Mm -hmm. 30, no, we need 3080. 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, I thought that's what we did. I'm sorry. We'll okay, do I have a motion? Something like that. All in favor say aye. All in favor say aye. I've tried to make up the time. <laughs> you you missed it. I didn't learn anything. <laughs> Take that gavel away. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Penny Orange 3050, this ordinance is an additional appropriation from the General Fund, uh, City Hall, Electricity, uh, Council 23,610 uh, insurance, and uh, Fire 2,500. Uh, this is for medical exams and DOT 16,000. For gasoline, we'll open a public hearing on that. Anybody out there like to discuss anything about those transfers or those additional appropriations? Anybody? Three times. Now appearing, we'll close the public hearing. Let the record show we had it. We'll consider pending ordinance 3050 on first reading. Your Honor? Yes. What's council insurance? Goes for everything that we insure. Okay. It's most of it's the additional insurance on the Vistion building. Okay. That's insurance package. Close soon, right? Hopefully. All right. Is that going to be enough for fuel for the rest of the year? Do we project or no? That's for DOT. Yeah, <laughs> I hope so. 
Or then it should make it the rest of it. When it says gasoline, it's fuel, right? Not just gasoline and, and, the and diesel. And stuff. And yeah. diesel. Yeah. Mostly diesel figures. Yeah. Uh, trash bags. Somebody make a motion? I move to accept Penny Second. Ordinance 3050. Okay, we have a motion on the floor to consider Penny Ordinance 3050 on first reading. Um, all in favor say aye. 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 <coughs> Would you like to suspend the rules and consider it on third and final reading? So moved. Second. On suspension of rules on 30, Penny Ordinance 3050. Uh, suspension of rules only. All in favor say aye. 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 Any opposed? None appearing. We can go on to third and final reading. So moved. Second. Second. We have a motion for third and final reading on pending ordinance number 3050, which will be a final reading. Uh, any discussion? <coughs> None appearing. All in favor say aye. 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 Any opposed? Motion carried. Pending ordinance 3051. This ordinance is additional appropriation uh, for the park for part time clerical. Uh, We'll put a public hearing. It's an additional appropriation for $5,000 for part-time clerical in the park. We use those people in the office. We use those people at night. They're all part-time people to uh, watch the buildings, take care of things when we have a lot of things going. I think they told me last weekend we had Friday, Saturday, both buildings and Sunday, all, all buildings full, which is great. You asked yeah. how many times we were going to use the 4-H yeah. building. We're using it on a regular basis. Uh, on pending ordinance uh, 3051, what's your favor? So, is this uh, 50 or 5,000? Is this for additional? Like, we do we not? Right. We don't have we enough money in there to pay the part time. Is it right? because we have uh, we now are hiring other people to do the 4-H building? Not necessarily. Just we just didn't appropriate well, basically it. Basically, it's cover Sharon's vacation over the summer. Um, some of it, a little bit because of Roger's building, but most of it just. Well, to cover the events too. Cover events at the Roberts Building. Just the more events you have, the more people you got to hire part time. Whenever we have anything in any of the buildings, yeah, you have, somebody. have to have somebody there. I think it covers four people. That's salary. That much. This end of the year? Hmm. Will it get us to the end of the year? I think it should. I'm trying to figure it out. Although December is heavy in Christmas parties, and I look for both buildings. In fact, Sharon told me the other day. We both booked our first wedding reception in the Roberts Building that's coming up here in a few weeks. That'll be cool. Hey, what's your favor on pending ordinance 3051? I'd like to make a motion to pass pending ordinance 3051. Second. Is there a second? You got a second? Okay. On pending ordinance 3051, any further discussion? All in favor say aye. 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 Any opposed? Motion carried. Would you like to suspend the rules? So moved, please. On suspension rules, on pit considering pending ordinance 3051, suspension rules only. All in favor say aye. Aye. Any opposed? Motion carried. Would you like to move forward? So moved. Second. Got a motion to consider pending ordinance 3051 on third and final reading. That motion would put $5,000 in part time clerical at the park. All in favor say aye. 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 Any opposed? Motion carried. Pending ordinance 3052, initial appropriation from the edit fund, $67,894. That is the sale of the Pramco property. We got that money from Reclaimed Energy, and we are now transferring that to economic development. The agreement was four years ago that they would fund all the expenses, which they did, and when the building and the property sold, we would give them the proceeds of the money. Uh, they have a tremendous amount of expense against this taking the tanks out, phase one, two or three times, uh, cleaning up two other tanks. Oh, I can't. They paid for the Clean up the fire, tear the building, the building fire, down. Yeah. So a good bit of this is all eaten up in expense, and now we're turning the rest of the money over to them as we promised we would do four years ago. So we have to have an additional appropriation. We have to have a public hearing. Everybody understand what we're doing? turning that money over because they paid all the expense. It was a brownfield cleanup that we initiated four years ago. They're putting up a fence. I noticed several steel poles. Uh, yeah. They, they just got so. permission to do that from IDEM. In order to cut through that concrete, they got to have permission from IDEM. Is there a... I'm, oh, go ahead. I, I wanna... Anybody else? Public hearing closed. Council, what's your consideration? 
I'm repenting on this 3852 we pass on first reading. Second. We have a motion and a second to consider pending ordinance 3052, which uh, is an additional appropriation and the added fund going for $67,894.66, which will be given to the Economic Development Group. Uh, any discussion? Roll call vote. <coughs> I hate to throw you like that, but it's a lot of money. I think we better do that. Councilman Creek? Yes. Councilman Stevens? Yes. Councilman Rich? Yes. Councilman Weber? Yes. Councilman Schommel? Yes. Councilman Nobby? Yes. You have passed that. Montgomery? Yes. Oh, I'm sorry. You have passed that on. I never know where she started. You have passed that on first reading. Would you like to suspend the rules and consider it on third and final? So move. Brand, grab that gavel. Second. Thing, huh? I, I will admit it. <laughs> we have a motion and second to uh, suspend the rules and consider pending ordinance 3052 on third and final reading. On suspension of rules only, all in favor say aye. 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 Anybody opposed? None. We can go on to third and final reading. So moved. So we have a motion so and a second to consider pending ordinance 3052. This ordinance would uh, put $67,894.66 of the Pramco money back to the economic development who bore the expenses of the cleanup. Uh, any discussion? Roll call vote. Councilwoman Stevens? Yes. Councilwoman Rich? Yes. Councilman Weber? Yes. Councilman Schommel? Yes. Councilman Nobby? Yes. Councilman Montgomery? Yes. Councilman Creek? Yes. All are in favor. You have passed that. We'll issue that check. Thank you so much. Old business. Anybody have any old business? Your Honor? Yes, sir. That lady right there has something on old business. Well, you have to bring it up. Come on up. Is she a member of your... Uh, no, she's, no, she's, I she's on the South End. She, she stopped me at the story of the day. I think we're yeah. working on that. And uh, David is on vacation, but I think the Red House... Yep. We're working on it. I mean, uh, where, where are we, are we on? on it? Huh? Well, let's see. I had to publish notice in the newspaper for three consecutive weeks and uh, we can take a judgment 30 days after the last publication and that I believe my calendar shows that judgment can be taken the second week of September and once the judgment is taken uh, the, the court orders 30 days to give the uh, property owner a chance to rehabilitate the property and if they don't then the city can do what's necessary to bring the property into compliance with the ordinance, a nuisance ordinance, including demolition if necessary. Okay. Yeah. Well, somebody's took the siding off at the east side of the house and the back. Looked like they the got permission. Took the roof off too, didn't it? Yeah. But somebody got gave somebody permission to take well, the siding there, there off. There are owners of the property. They could do that. Yeah. Okay. So, best case scenario, you're looking at November. Uh, probably well, late thirty October. days after. The second week in September. Mid October. <coughs> October. That house we can take down ourselves. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Once we get the, the court order, we'll move swiftly. Okay. okay. Thank you, guys. Okay. Thank you. You're welcome. Any other old business? Yeah, uh, I want to address something Mr. Nobby's been concerned about regarding the uh, railroad right away. Uh, one, one factor is uh, the owner of the business has been ill. She was working on it, but but I sense that we only authorized five hundred dollars to pay for that project there, and that really isn't going to cover it. It's it's a, it's a it, quite a bit of research into the records to try to ascertain ownership of a right of way, such as a railroad right of way. And I would to get the job done. I think you ought to consider uh, pro, uh, authorizing more money to pay. For it. How much? So, well, yeah, that's a good one. But uh, we, I'm, I'm asking them how much it's going to take might be the next step, and then we'll go from there. We can we can ascertain that relatively quickly. But it's, it's not getting done, and I know that's not making you happy. So I think we need to give them uh, fill some more money. Out. And, and it's not their fault. But you know they have a lot of work to do, and they've got to they've got to uh, kind of do what they can when they can and that kind of thing it's it's a it's a difficult project how much are you talking about John well uh, I, you know I haven't talked to Jane about that specifically 
but I would say, uh, oh, I can I can find out and, and let you know. We have some money in the council budget where we could do that. Yeah, so it, get a price for us and bring it back to us. Well, all right, I could do that, or you could authorize up to a certain amount. Have we already spent our five hundred? No. no. Well, I don't know what they. We had. we actually have money appropriate. So what you need to do is get a price, and then if it's within the budget, we can pay it. All right. Well, I'll do that tomorrow. Okay. Yeah. Just keep it low. <laughs> That's what we did before. We didn't get anything done. So. <laughs> do you know at what stage they're at? Um, they're having trouble. You? It, it's a difficult job. Okay. Yeah, it, it really is. How many property owners are you talking about? Oh my, it's all, all the way along the right of way on each side. You know, it's 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 difficult. All right, miscellaneous business, Nancy. No. Tom. Yes, I do. Oh. I I have an opportunity to embarrass my grandson. My grandson is 18 years old today. Happy birthday, Chandler. Thank you. Happy birthday. You want us to sing? I think I didn't know. <laughs> Debbie? I don't have anything. Okay. Yes, sir. Thank you. Nothing? Brand? Not fine, thanks. Dr. Weber. Well, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Council? Mr. Baker, do you have anything special besides that you want to? No, sir. It's unusual that you ask for money. Oh, I know. Right. It's I'm not. They have to. <laughs> Mike, you have something on a miscellaneous business. Come forward. Oh, yes. <laughs> I got more bad news. I got more bad news. We, we blew up one of our good mowers. Uh, it was old. But we, went, we went out and got some prices. And the uh, Lord Works approved a. Uh, Quotes today. We have four quotes, and he's got a real good quote. Go ahead and tell him what you got. Yeah, um, went to Border Works, uh, gave him four quotes a, a John Deere 15.5, a Kubota uh, from Rogan Equipment 11.6, a Zimmer tractor Kubota, same one, it's a different company, 11.9, and a Toro, a Toro about 16.9. Um, so I guess I'm here to get approval for additional appropriation for a new mower. Um, we're going. I like to go with 11.6, which is the lowest bid for the Rogan equipment. It was display model 2013. Their 214s are coming in, and um, he'd like to get rid of it. Um, it's brand new. The Zimmer, even though it's the same identical, they don't have them on hand. They have to order one, so that's why it's just a little bit more. But it is the same mower. So what kind of mower is this? It's a Kubota. Uh, Zero ZD, turn. Yeah, 60 inch diesel. Diesel. 34 horsepower. Yeah. How much is it? That's a uh, 11.6 right now. Um, we have a Toro that's 18 years old. Another one that's 12. A Kubota that's broke down was 10. And our newest mower is 7 years old. The so, reason we, uh, we kind of stick with the Kubota, uh, Bill likes to keep the Kubota. He's got parts for it. Mm -hmm. And he likes working on it. They, they, Can they, I ask they how much does it cost? 11.6, this one. Which you can come and get my tractor at home, and then we'll appropriate money for me to get a brand new tractor. Uh, you're out of order. <laughs> See how I use that gavel? Yeah, that's good. You yeah, asked for that, Weber. You asked for that. Okay. So, is it, uh, is a the board works as approved 11 6. Yes. What we need to do is fund it, and so I suggest we fund it on a riverboat. Inside, blow uh, up. So I need a motion. Which we that. do for equipment. I know. We fund it out yeah. of riverboat. So, so, Nancy got a motion. Is there a second? second? A motion and a second that we buy the 11.6 uh, Toyota 34 horsepower from Rogan Equipment. Uh, there's nobody in Connersville that sells the uh, Lotus, so that's why we have to do that. Um, any discussion? Oh, this is advertising. Yeah. Advertising. Yeah. Right. 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 The current newest one's seven years old, right? Yes. Yeah. The newest one's seven. Okay. All in favor, say aye. Aye. Uh, uh, is there anybody opposed? Is this without a trade-in or with a trade-in? Without uh, a trade, okay. yeah, I'm hard here. We use a farm, guys. Mm -hmm. Let me tell you. <laughs> well, how many acres we cut in 33? About 200 acres Two. total. We don't have <laughs> boats as Roberts Park. I mean, Roberts Park's like 70 acres. We have all those other soccer fields, baseball yeah. fields, all nice of Dust roll. So, small ones. Okay, we'll have additional appropriation for next mm -hmm. time on that. Um, anything else? Anybody got anything yeah, public for them? Ruby, Ruby. Uh, I just want to thank Mount, uh, Mike Selke 
for doing all his good work, and I'd like to know this new guy that's head of the thing. I'd like for him to introduce himself. Uh, my name's uh, Kevin Couch. I've done sports for WIFE, now WLPK, uh, for four years now, I guess. Uh, and uh, I took over for Mike. Good. Mike said a good job, and we'll miss it. He said a good job, and we're going to miss it. Yeah. And I know he's laying around doing nothing. Uh, well, Congratulations. He's oldest son in, in Northern California right now, so he is hard at work. <laughs> well, that's uh, good. But it's just on personal stuff. Yeah, that's good. That's all I have. Thank you. Thank Thank you. Ruby. Ruby, your yard sure looks nice. Oh, yes. <laughs> what are you going to do when it frosts? Go somewhere. <laughs> do something. Okay, it was interesting today at the Lions Club, Ruby. Those people, you might mention those people that uh, retired from Vistio and have some money coming. We just found out that they get $45 a year. Do you want to expound on that? Maybe there's some people out there. Well, I don't know. I just got about 20 calls today. Oh. And I don't know. They'll have to check. I'll, I'll have to check it out. Okay. Well, there are several people who already got it. Yeah, yeah. But there is some money available, so call Ruby. <laughs> Thank you very much. Uh, if you call me, don't get excited if I'm not home because I do not have a job at doing this. Mm -hmm. And a lot of people does get mad. They'll say, where you been? We've been trying to get a host of you. I'm not there. Uh, Is there any I, place they can call to find out about that? Yes. This Yon Center. Okay, where's that? And I'll give you the telephone number. Let's get that and put it in the paper, wait, because there, there's, a, there's a benefit. We just found out that people have not retired. They about haven't 19. been paying the full amount. Are they been taken, not taken, not paying us the full amount? Okay. But they're paying something, so. Yeah, they're paying something. Okay. <coughs> but you had to retire at a certain date. What is that date? I don't know. It no, you have to be retired from it, but it has to be so long. And you have to be sixty-five years old. Yes. But give them the number after the meeting here, Ruby, and put that in the paper. But I appreciate you if they would call. Because yeah. I don't run a business out of my house. <laughs> I thought sure you'd know all about it. So well, sorry. I I can help. <laughs> and I have help. But you really get thrown over the coals if you don't know the answer. And if I don't know the answer, you're not going to get it from me. I'll say, no, I don't know. But there is a Visteon number. Those are the people that might think they're eligible for that money can go to. Okay. That's the end of public Thanks forum again. then. Nobody else wanted to speak. Rex, do you want to speak? Right. Okay. I'm up to adjournment unless you folks have something. Second. Second. Got a motion on the floor to adjourn. Uh, all those in favor say aye. 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 Aye.